Oh, we got some new cheaper options for flight controller MCUs coming up. Oscar Leung's got a story about it. Yes, we do. Um, we heard rumblings of this before, um, and there is a uh, GitHub we've linked as well. But basically, yeah, so Oscar Liang uh, let us know that there is a, um, a unit coming um, that has the uh, flight controller coming that has the AT32F405 uh, uh, flight controller. And this is essentially, um, I asked multiple people. One person told me it was basically a clone. Another mm -hmm. person told me it was a semi-clone. Mm -hmm. meaning like the layout is meant to drop in but it's not technically a clone uh, okay. because it's not using their code right uh but yeah. basically it's meant to be a replacement uh, another option for the stm32 flight controller or the mcus that we use on our flight controllers but also in, in addition to that um it's a lot cheaper and they're more performant by quite a bit yeah so uh, I think this is altogether a great, a great thing. Yeah, I mean, uh, anything that could bring down the price of a flight controller stack, and certainly the MCU is one of the most expensive parts of it. Um, I talked to someone in the industry uh, who said that they thought that this could bring the price of an ESC and flight controller stack down by like half, which surprised me. Uh, that like I wouldn't think that it was that much of the total cost, but. Uh, well, if that's true, that's insane. If you're buying a $50 flight controller and there's 100% margin on it, that means they're making it for 25 right? Like selling it for 25 wholesale, that means they're making it for 15 to 20 That means mm -hmm. if you cut $5 off the processor, that's 25 to 50%, that's right? That's a good that's point. A lot of money. That's a good point. Yeah, when you go yeah. all the way back to the manufacturing cost, that's 50 per se, that's like 50% of 50%, and then, you know, five or 10 bucks really adds up. That's a really good point. Um, yeah. I don't know uh, if there's any like downsides here, like uh, the same person in the industry who shall remain nameless because they didn't want to go on the record said, you know, I, I, it'd be great to get cheaper chips. I hope they're good quality. There's a lot of weird shit going on in China right now. And, uh, you know, uh, until you actually see what you get, you don't know. Um, right now, one of the only companies, if not the only company that is making flight controllers with this on it is Neutron RC. And I have no idea who the heck Neutron RC is. Uh, it's kind of weird that there's this new chip. Oh, it's coming. And then there's this new company. They're not new. Neutron RC has been around for a little while. Uh, but uh, I would like to see a reputable known company like an iFlight or a T-Motor or something, a Diatone, make a flight controller with this chip on it. And I obviously would like to see Betaflight support. If you can only get support in a forked version of Betaflight, obviously I'm not interested. But Betaflight 4.5 is going to have support. Is that right? Yeah, we've got the pull request included that's already been pulled and uh, or merged and accepted for 4.5. So yeah, once 4.5 hits, these will have support. Yeah. Well, uh, I look for. I would love to see the flight controllers get cheaper. It sucks that they're so expensive, especially especially given how often we like. Well, fl flight controllers don't fry, but ESCs certainly yeah. are likely to fry. I mean, I'd expect it's not going to be all roses. I'm sure we'll have other hiccups, you know, getting into these and stuff. Also, the naming conventions are a little strange because you can't necessarily match them up directly to STM32, even though the naming conventions look similar. So just know that in case you're trying to compare, the specs are not the same. Um, I've also heard that there's most of the peripheral stuff is the same, but there are also extra peripherals now that are in beta flight that people have to help. Like if you're adding a component into beta flight, something that's going to be supported across all processors, then now that's an extra workload for you to add. I don't mm -hmm. know how many people that's even going to affect, you know, but sure. there's just little things like that. But I suspect overall this will be positive because it gives us cheaper flight controllers for the community. Uh, yeah. Like you said, as long as there's adoption by other companies. So. Yeah. Um, I wonder, I mean, uh, Dominic Clifton has, has seen, I think, is it official? Has he stepped back? I know he's super annoyed about Pixel OSD not getting picked up. And I have the sense that he is a little not as interested in Betaflight as he once was. I don't know if there's been any official statement about that or public statement. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I do. I have heard people say that he's one of the only people who really understands the deep down core code. Uh, and some of the optimizations, I know he worked on a lot of the optimizations 
of the PID loop and the and the timing, the real time operating system, and so forth. Uh, and uh, I can only guess that adding a whole new chip and a new architecture is it a new architecture or is it just a clone of the STM on a new chip? Hmm. I can only guess that adding a new hardware like this will add some compl complexity that will have some unexpected consequences. Yeah, and then hmm. I'll, I'll just say I think I think the other thing I've heard levied is that um, instead of these, even though these are sort of drop-in pin replacements, mm -hmm. it might be better to do something like risk risk V where you have uh there's other people who are petitioning for those kind of uh, options as well so yeah it should be another like companies uh sourcing it's not sort of like attempting to clone another thing it's its own thing has promise in uh different communities for electronics and stuff so yeah it'll be interesting to see where all this ends up yeah um yeah i've also heard people wishing that they had put their effort into implementing risk v instead of this uh, sort of weird chip from God knows where, but uh, there you go. The open source, they're going to spend their time where they want to spend it.